Hey guys, it's Six Fox, and today I'm going to be playing Pokemon um, Uranium. It actually just came out within like a week ago, and it's all a fan-made game that's been apparently taken nine years to create, so I'm really excited to check this out. i um, just going to get through the intro here. So apparently everything in here is going to be straight up um, nuclear Pokemon, but there is also some originals too, so they're going to like take two different sets of fan-made and original and combine them together to create the game. So, okay. Let's see. What? Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Uh, no info needed. I'm pretty sure that we can handle that straightforward. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Um, we humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help with us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers. Oh, dude. The, I wonder where they got, like, some of this from. Kind of looks like a Hawaii theme, but not sure. Kind of like Sun and Moon. Oh, they actually have three different character options. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that one. Ten years ago, Six Fox's family lived in a Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. Oh, that's so cool. Their father, Kaelin, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Their mother, Lucille, I think that's how you pronounce it, was a bright scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they also found time to spend at home with young Six Fox. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright, until... It's always that slight twist and everything. Is this going to be like the new Team Rocket? Um, it was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As a part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished with your diagnosis? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does it job well. Excellent. See, I want to know what they're using all these, like, all, what all these nuclear plants are going to be for. It's going to be interesting to find out. Okay, so... Oh. <laughs> there must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, it's just a few minutes. We'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now. Oh, so what? Is this... Or is this going to, like, maybe, like, coincide, like... What do you call it? Like, fused with Pokemon? Like the nuclear power pan explosion? That's, that's what I'm thinking. With Cameron's help, all the scientists were able to escape unsathered, except Luso. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. Okay, so there's a missing person. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kaylin. His personality changed. He became cold and decided to decided to his job or dedicated to his job. In time he got promoted to chief of Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Six Fox was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moko Town. Okay, so father or mother disappeared, father's too busy, kids on his own. Kinda getting the background story. Okay. It was use of certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region. Oh, sweet. Okay, six so five come downstairs, you're late. Oh, this is so cool. It's actually like really well made. Like Like if I weren't to know that this was a fan made game, I would say this is like I'd be asking like when is this gonna come out? Like it's this is really well made. Alright, well, these bots so more than I can do support us both. But we know that you are ready for this. You and that boy, Theo. I wonder if Theo's gonna be the new rival, though. Um, always following in your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He's younger, after all. I'm sure his father, Cameron, wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. Oh, running shoes. I wonder, okay, we gotta, I'll hold Z, so we'll figure that out. Oh, don't mind me, sweetie, I'm just an emotional old lady. Only if your father were here right now. I sure be so proud of you, and I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. 
Oh, and we can actually run in the house, unlike the original games where they just had you, like, walking. That's cool. Oh, uh, oh, wow, this actually looks really nice. Okay, um, Professor's house. It's gotta be down here. Um... Dangerous... Oh, they totally changed the layout of this map, like, it's... Something different compared to, like, every other game, like... I... This... Oh, who are you? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Can't talk to him. Okay, there's boulders, so we gotta... F I wonder if it's actually up. Um... Oh, wait. There's stairs. Oh, who's this? Oh, is this the Theo person? What do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me? So you can get- Oh, this is the way, okay. Well, that ain't gonna happen because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Six Fox. Okay, no, dude. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Hey, if it isn't Six Fox, and ah, your friend. Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo. Right, right, Theo, you're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work as field research assistants at Bamboo Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will have you traveling across the Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon. Uh, I have- oh, dude, I just want to see what the three are, come on. Uh, okay, I feel like I missed something now, I flew through that way too fast. Yep, I figured it out. Alright, so, you seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate for what you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. The saying, the best defense is a good offense, is probably your mantra. You have a burning spirit with you that'll never cease. For an offensive trainer like you... Oh, yeah. Okay, that is so cool looking, actually. Rap Torch. Okay, is Rap Torch is like a... Oh, what's the word? Velociraptor? Like, maybe it's a dinosaur, dude, but it... Okay, that is sick. Okay, is there anything else I need to know? Oh, there we go. Would you like to give it... No, I don't want to give anything nicknames in this name, because I need to, like, learn all the new, like, species, like... It's gonna be hard if I keep mixing up their names with a whole bunch of nicknames. Alright, when do I get mine? Hmm... Which one? Okay, he's either gonna get the one on the left or the one on the right. Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive and patient and care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness, the potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young, I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you... Oh, okay. I kind of like how, like, you have to answer some questions, and then they pick the Pokemon based on your answers. Like, I actually think that's kind of cool. But, okay. Wait, so that looks like a grass type, if I'm assuming, and mine's, like, a fire, I think. But I could be wrong, so I wonder how these are gonna go against each other, because... You're normally supposed to have, like, two different types. Oh, Theo would like to battle. Oh, oh, it's like a cat, dude. Okay, this looks- this is so cool. But, oh, the layout of this is really cool. Oh, Ember. Um, let's try Ember. Oh, just got wrecked. I told you, I think that thing is grass. Okay. But I'm supposed to win. Oh, 350 bucks. Yeah, okay. But how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. It's impossible. Good trainers never lose. Well, obviously you're not a good trainer if you just lost, bro. Come on. Your Pokemon were healed? I didn't even get scraped, dude. I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, beating your starter and six boxes there have, has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the element type triangle. Okay, that's kind of odd that they paired them up like that. Like, that's totally different, like... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right, dude. This... He took that harder than I hoped. Oh! Then we're gonna head out to Route 1. 
So I'm not sure exactly where his house is at, but I'm gonna see if I maybe just go to the route first, if you like tag along, or if I actually gotta go pick him up. Okay. Oh, yep, I gotta go get him. So we gotta, okay, let's see which one of these is his houses. Nope, that does not look like his house. Um, let's see. Oh, what is it? Okay, no, we're not gonna... Okay, so... This, I think this is probably my... Yep, I'm... My house. Yep, okay. So he's gotta be down one more then. Oh, there we go. Okay. What, you just storm off upstairs? What did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. I swear if you did anything to hurt him. Oh, so that's how it is. So he got the weaker starter and you beat him in a battle. I see, this explains it, stupid kid. A harsh lesson to be sure, but losing is as much a part of being a trainer as winning. He had his heart set on the day being perfect. So losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. Still crying won't solve anything. That's something he has to learn. <laughs> Come downstairs for a no young man. <laughs> this is awesome, dude. You can't cry every time you lose a battle. That would just be a... Okay. But it isn't fair. Six Spot got the better starter than me. Now I'm never gonna win. Then you'll have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well-raised Pokemon can still win, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Sniff. Yes, Dad. Now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down, so try to be strong for yourself, okay? Please be patient with my son. He looks up to you, you know. Uh, I nearly forgive Six Fox. I have something for both of you. Like a present? Yes, exactly. Your father, Keyline, sent me these and told me to give you to both of them. He told me that you need them to begin your journey. I'm sure it'll come in useful. Poke pot. Okay. Oh, is that gonna be like the new kind of phone for the game? That's that's what I'm assuming. It plays music and includes a map of the region, and most importantly, it contains a. Oh, so it's like a multi-purpose tool. Okay, they're really combining like all the tools of like the original Pokemon bag, but into like multiple things here. Okay, so let's. We gotta go out and talk to the professor. See, yep, it was this way. Okay. Hi there, Six Fox. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and a field research aid. Now watch closely. Wild Pokemon, as you probably already know, inhabit tall grass. But that's not the only place. You can also find them in caves and water and even in cities if you know where to look. Still, tall grass is going to be your best friend for finding Pokemon. Simply take a few steps in and... Oh, what is... Oh, it's a... Shin Monk? Okay, so maybe this one's based upon like a... Like a oh, okay, never mind, that's cool. This little guy was also the other starter you could have received. I think he's taken a shine to me and I like him too, so I'm gonna keep him. Oh, I thought I could get the second, or the third starter, that'd be so cool. But okay, maybe this is like a three-way rival thing if we all have the different starters. Alright, so now that it's weekend, now my chance to catch it. Pop, pop, go. And now that it's done, it's uh, fairly easy, but sh sure to encounter Pokemon that are a lot harder to capture. For those, you might need to inflict them with status effects, or use a special Pokeball. But I'm sure you'll get the hang of it before too long. Alright. Ah, uh, there we go. Got the Pokedex now. There we go. Encyclopedia that automatically updates itself whenever you encounter a catch Pokemon. It's very important for my research, so make sure that it'll fill it out as much as possible. Also, I want you to have these. I'm starting. I'm ready to start catching dude. I want to see like all the like different kind of things that these like fans made like, in their game to like That they based it upon like it's gonna be really cool to see the artwork and stuff. He totally all right, We got to see what's in here first Oh, there, there we go, okay Oh, dude Shin Monk Okay, I don't <laughs> So this is like I don't know if I should capture it because I it could be one of those like basic Pidgey kind of things where it's, or like a rat attack where it's not very good, but it's just one of those starters to get you into the game. But the design of it, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. 
It is really cool, though. Okay. Dude, this rap torch, though, looks so cool. Like, it's kind of like an armadillo style, but... Slightly has that look of a Charizard with the burning tail, but yet again... Oh, dude, it's gonna be cool. I wanna see what this thing turns into. We're just gonna... Okay, I decided I'm not gonna catch the Shin Monk, because... I don't know, I don't have a lot of faith in its evolution. It doesn't look... Like a promising... Promising... Pokemon to go with. Okay, there we go. So, Route 1, here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So, now we go. Oh, is this gonna be a battle? Oh, it is. I, oh, hey, Six Fox, I just got a new Pokemon and I can't. Oh, it, this better not be another shit month thing, dude. I, I don't. It is. Okay, I'll do it for the experience, but I wanna, like, start seeing, like, some of the other ones they got. I gotta, like, start working on the team. I uh, ever. Oh, this one's a little stronger. Oh, crap. Straight up critical hit right off the bat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Ember. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> down to seven. Okay. There we go. Yep. Oh, no, dude. That's like one HP. Come on. Oh. Oh, that's cool. It has a flame body, so every time people hit you, you get affected. Okay, that's pretty sick. Oh, and a Burby. Okay, maybe that's gonna be like the Pidgey. It looks kind of cool. It's like, kind of has like that ancient effect to it. Like, okay, when I say that, it looks like a like an Egyptian kind of bird for some reason, like the necklace thing and everything. Oh no, I blacked out. Really? Oh, okay. That sucks. Oh. Game over? Just straight up right away? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to get... That sucks. And I didn't even get the save slot either. Okay, well... That's gonna be it for the first episode. This is kind of a getting a starter video because this is really cool. So Pokemon um, Uranium, you guys can go download it yourself if you're interested. It is a free game. But um, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and I'm gonna get to a safe spot this time because I oh that sucks. I thought I would have went to like a Pokemon Center or something, but I guess not. So stay tuned for episode two, guys. And oh dude, this is gonna be so awesome. I can't wait.